Yes, that's a real island. Hello, this is Mirta, your official tour guide in Rome and in the Vatican. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. To follow me on the main social network, just click on the link below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today, I'm in the middle of the Tiber, but my feet are perfectly dry because I'm on the Tiber Island. The Tiber Island is the smallest inhabited island in the world, right in the center of Rome. In Latin, it was called Insula Inter Duos Pontes, meaning the island in between two bridges. The Pons Cessius connect the island to the fancy district of Trastevere and the Pons Fabricius to the Jewish ghetto. The Pons Fabricius is the most ancient Roman bridge still standing. It was built in the year 62 BC and is still in use. It is better known by locals as Ponte Quattro Capi, meaning Four Heads Bridge, for the Roman sculptor used to decorate it. In the Roman time, on the island there was a big temple dedicated to Asclepius, god of the medicine. And that's the legend. In the 3rd century BC, Rome was invaded by the Great Plague. The Roman Senate sent a delegation to Epidaurus in Greece to take a statue of the god Asclepius and build a temple here in Rome. When the ship of the Roman came back, the snake, symbol of the god Asclepius, glittered off the ship and decided to settle here on this island. Asclepius was the god of the medicine and the island quickly became a kind of hospital for people infected by disease. At the same time, even the island was transformed into a kind of boat to remind the one chosen by the snake to come here in Rome. The size was completely covered with travertine, sculpted to look like a vessel. remains of the original decoration are still visible. The deck of the boat, the god Asclepius, and the snake. Later, in Middle Age, the church of St. Bartholomew was built over the ruins of the temple of Asclepius. Tiber Island is definitely a place to visit once in Rome. 